Good evening all. Welcome to the Folk O'Clock Show, number 57, the Christmas show. You can probably, I've not adjusted the um, the, the audio levels, I've had, I've had a bit of a chesty cold, so I, I sound uh, a lot deeper than I normally am. I think that's the way to describe it. Anyway, I hope everybody's well. well. Uh, we've had a little bit of cold weather. And then it got mild again, and maybe that's why everybody's got ill all of a sudden. In fact, people in Fleet are so ill at the moment, I got a text message from the local doctor to say, everybody's ill, don't bother contacting us, basically. Go online and sort yourself out. You think, well, can we get, like, national insurance or, or tax back or something for this? Because I'm, I'm losing my way with it a little bit. We've got plenty of people joining us this evening already. Please make yourself comfortable, move down to the front, leave space for others. Ah, super. Doris is with us. Doris is in the United Kingdom. I found out, I'm going to ask a question to my, my uh, studio friends, my guests. Um, I shouldn't call them friends because they might not think of it that way. Guests, we'll call them. I think of them as friends. Um, do you know the difference between the United Kingdom and the British and, and Great Britain? Yes. I didn't know. United Kingdom includes Northern Ireland. But the, I didn't know. We all know now. Yeah, the difference between the United Kingdom and Great Britain is the United Kingdom includes Northern Ireland. Only Northern Ireland, not the whole of Ireland, because Ireland's Ireland. <laughs> I do talk a lot of English. Where did that come from? Anyway, Jill, 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 I nearly said who's online, but that'll give away who, who are one of our guests is. Yutta's with us. Good, good, is it good Narbon? Good, good Targ. Good Narbon. Good Narbon. Good, it's after. No, it's, no, no good, good Nacht. Good Nacht. Jutta, how are you? I hope you're well. Um, in fact, I might as well mention it straight away. Doris is in the UK and I'm not being selfish. People think selfish is a bad thing. It's always worked for me. Um, Doris is in the UK. Oh, I've got cake. She brought cake. See, my voice went up again. I went all scouts then. Cake. She made them. She, yes. Yeah, she exactly. made them just for you. They're beautifully wrapped. I don't know what I don't. I'll open that later. Right, we've got a fantastic show. Uh, I shouldn't talk too much, should I? No. Um, and everybody's coming in, which is lovely. Act number uh, no show number fifty-seven, the Christmas show. We've got eleven acts. We try and keep it to eleven these days. Um, we've got a, a quiz, as always. We've got a raffle. Our official raffle meister is absent without leave again, and I do think we're going to sack him. If you're out there listening. Yeah, don't come in on Monday. Um, right, we've got 11 acts. Uh, a mixture of recorded at the local folk clubs, recorded live in studios. So it's always live, basically. Um, and we've got somebody live, live in the studio tonight, which is fab. We've got lots of dirty snacking lined up. One of my guests has eaten most of it. But I won't mention her name. Um, and we're going to kick off. It's the Christmas show. There's going to be lots of Christmas uh, songs this evening. And I, when I was looking at putting this together, I thought, well, uh, in lockdown, we used to always have the show started off by uh, the hosts of the windmill or the hosts of poppies because we were kind of filling in while, while the clubs were shut down. And I thought, well, it's the Christmas show. So we should start the show off uh, with the hosts uh, of the windmill acoustic sessions that had their 30th anniversary this year. Not as a couple, as the club. Gary and Cheryl Payne. I don't know how long they've been together, actually. But um, but the club has been running for 30 years, which is fantastic. And we're going to kick off the show uh, with uh, a lovely song uh, for a winter's night. Because that's the name of the song. So let's have some love and likes for the first uh, performance this evening Gary and Cheryl Payne Song for a Winter's Night Silence of my room 
there for Gary and Cheryl Payne kicking off the show. Uh, that was actually recorded at Poppy's Folk Club. Um, well, as you can see, we, we've got lots of videos on now. And we got, we got not only do we have one of our studio guests over there, but we've also got Mr John I from iTech Media. Good evening, John. <laughs> Hi, everyone. And, and Good to see you all. Just before we get going, John, uh, my other studio guest, ladies, hold on to your seats, is that great big hunk of Scottish set here he is, Mr Jim McLean, in the studio. To, I'm chuffed a bit. This guy's got more <laughs> presents than Darth Vader. Jim, sit yourself down and let's talk. He's, wave, he, he, he's waving. We'll see Jim later. Um, yeah, so, uh, whoa, we've got a, a, a little bit of... A, it's an announcement. I think we can call it an announcement. It's quite exciting. I'm going to hand it straight over to you, John. Oh, right. I thought you were going to Lynn first, but um, that's fine. No problem. Um, well, hey, everyone. I'm really, really excited because um, what we're announcing is a new CD. And I think you'll recognize the face on the cover. Lynn's uh, shaking hers there. Look, at quite a good likeness. But this is fantastic because just before Christmas, this is coming out in aid of the Help Musicians charity, which you all know I support. And it's been a collaboration between Joe, Lynn, who's played a major part in it, and um, myself, who's, who's done the recording. So, look, this is Lynn, as you've not heard her before. She is um, playing really classic songs, uh, very popular songs, um, with a full band backing behind her. So you've not heard Lynn like this, and she is... Oh, I hope I don't embarrass you, Lynn, but you are fantastic in, in this CD. <laughs> so um, you can go to the um, Facebook page, which is the Folk O'Clock page, or my page, and you'll see a link to the Help Musicians charity. These CDs are a snip at £10, and you can uh, donate to the charity 
Make sure you leave enough details for me to get in touch with you. If you want instant gratification, I can give you a streaming link so you can access it immediately or MP3s. And if you want it, the actual CD, and we have hundreds of them here. <laughs> They've got to go. They've got to go. All in a good cause. So um, £10 for the CD. I'm selling it too much, but you'll love it if you go for it. And um, I was really excited that Lynn um, joined me to, to do this CD. She's, um, you know, she's got a fantastic voice. But I think, Lynn, this took you out of your comfort zone, didn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't tell you. It was the most nerve-wracking project I've ever done. Um, so I want to thank you for your patience, John, and your hard work. But I'm very excited to see how much money we can raise. So please, please do, if you can, buy this for all your friends and family and, and raise money for help musicians. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, are there classic songs on here like um, Rule the World, Killing Me Softly, um, The Masquerade and much, much more. <laughs> so um, there you have the, the link. But if you can't get that now, it's actually on the Folk O'Clock uh, Facebook page. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll make it all available to everybody. That is actually my copy. And I bought a copy. I didn't get a free copy. And I played a very small part. I just did the photograph for the covers. Um, I Fantastic think it, cover, Joe. Well done. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. It's a picture I took myself, of course. Um, the... Uh, I, I think it's really good. It's, it's clearly it's for a good charity and also a, a, a nice way of saying thank you to John for the a lot of effort that John puts into uh, the local kind of music scene, recording people and what have you. And I, I guess I create videos and take photographs. So, you know, £10 is not a lot and it goes to a really good cause. And I think it's particularly good of Lynn. I mean, for, for, for somebody who has got a, a back catalogue of 40 years worth of self-penned songs... Yeah, mm. for you to, to, mm. to do that, yeah. I think it's really good of you. Really good of you, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Round of applause. Uh, so don't be tight arses, get and buy one. <laughs> uh, I'll be playing my own copy as well. And we've got some more album recommend. It's not even nine o'clock, is it? I've got some more album recommendations later as well. Lynn, thank you very much. It's all right. Thank you very thank much. You. Right. Uh, we are going to go, I'm pressing a little button now, and we're going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And Lynn can sit down and get back on with some dirty snacking. Thank hey. you, John. Thank you, John. Um, right, we're going to go for our next act. And as I said, uh, the Windmill and Poppies, so our second song this evening is going to be from Kelly's Eye, Felix and Kathy Kelly. Uh, uh, again, this song was recorded at Poppies. I think it was the Poppies Christmas Do as well. And I don't know whether it's actually a Christmas song, um, but they definitely performed it at the Christmas Do. It's called Song of Choice. And I could hazard a guess who did the original, um, but I'm not going to because I'm probably wrong. So we've got a very, very uh, mu musically educated audience. If anybody knows who the original for Song of Choice, I, I think my folk crush is out there, Sue Graves. She knows everything. She'll, she'll be good at that. <laughs> um, she's quick on Google as well. Right, uh, let's have some love and likes for the wonderful Felix and Kathy Kelly, Song of Choice. Early in the year the land is barren Seeds are warm and sleep beneath the ground You won't know until the leaves are showing That with weeds all your garden will abound If you close your eyes not
brilliant. Dirty snacking. I never knew that that was called Song of Song Choice. of Choice. Well, yeah. and thank you, uh, thank you, Sue. Um, it, it was Peggy Seeger. And as soon as I played it, as soon as I triggered it off in here, I said, I think it was Peggy Seeger, but I don't want to guess because I'm going to get it wrong. Sue tells me that, well, I think Sue says that Google says it's Peggy Seeger. Peggy Seeger, 1993. Thank you, Bob Tidbury. Bob, yeah. I hope you're sitting in your special place, Bob, in your own seat. Ann Isles is with us. Let me just mention Ann. I love Ann Isles. Dancing girl. Thank you for my card, dancing girl. And Colin, of course. Oh, that's Super, good. Super, isn't it? Got I went to a convent school, nuns. I bet you did. They never pulled my sleigh. <laughs> right. So, fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Get on, Felix, and get, it's a lovely song. Pull some do, more do, snacks do, out do, while do, do, get, Keep the dirty snacking going. Right. We are... Who's out? Who's with Faye? Faye's with us. Good evening, Faye. Alan's with us. Bob. Jan Moncrief. Jan, are you still in... Madeira. The cake place. The place with cake. Because you were definitely there. Sue Mollin. Sue, great big hug from me, Sue. I hope you're on the mend. Ray Taylor's with Gene Orford. Good evening, John and Gene. Thank you, as always, for joining us. It's very much appreciated. Hillary Ward, Hillary, happy Christmas and a big hug. Right, let's get on. Uh, we're going to go across to I've Tech Media and we're going to have the quiz. It is a different format now, so stand by your beds. Squeeze the cheeks of your arse together. Pay attention. That's what apparently they used to say that. My dad, who was in the Royal Marines when he was young, um, the sergeant major man used to shout that at them to keep them all stood up. And <laughs> um, Get your pen and your paper ready, guys. We've got the quiz coming up. Right. I've Tech Media, come in. Mr. John Ive. Hi. Hi again, everyone, and welcome back. And, um, yeah, it's the, the quiz now. And um, Joe always tells me that... Um, I make the quiz too difficult. So I thought as it was Christmas, this is going to be a true trivia quiz. So you can all join in and um, you can all get these answers, I think, because the questions are so easy. But first, I do I need to tell you the rules? I'm sure you've all been here before, um, but there are five questions. Put your five answers in a comments box. I'll be looking at the total, see who's got them all right or see who's got most of them right. And then I'll total those up and the winner will get the very, very traditional uh, bottle of Prosecco. So that's how it all works. You've got two songs to get your answers in. There will be two songs after this quiz. Um, I'll be looking at the answers and then I'll come back, um, give you the answers and let you know the winner. So let's get on to question number one. And I tell you, these are easy. Um, what kind of Christmas is Paul McCartney having? Is it heavenly? Is it peaceful? Or is it wonderful? Paul McCartney's Christmas. Is it heavenly, peaceful or wonderful? Question number two. Who is it that's coming to town? Is it Rudolph, Santa or Frosty? Who's going to come to town, Rudolph, Santa or Frosty? That's your question number two. And then we've got chestnuts roasting by, uh, what is it, roping, roasting by an open fire? Oh, the answer is chestnuts. <laughs> um, but I'll tell you about walnuts and peanuts just in case you didn't hear me say chestnuts. Let's move on to question. You can put you have to put that answer in, though, it, to qualify. You've got to put that answer in. <laughs> I've done that before. Um, right. Which Christmas is um, George Michael singing about in his song? Is it the last Christmas or is it this Christmas or is he having a lonely Christmas? And then finally, we move to Elvis. And Elvis is having a Christmas as well. But is he having a white Christmas, a blue Christmas or a red Christmas? Let me go through the questions and one of the answers one more time. Um, first of all, Paul McCartney. Um, is he having a heavenly, a peaceful or a wonderful Christmas? Um, who is coming to town? 
Is it Santa, Rudolph, Frosty? And then this is really hard. I'm sure none of you will get this one. Uh, what is roasting by an open fire? Is it chestnuts, walnuts or peanuts? And um, then we're talking about George Michael. Which Christmas is he talking about? Is he talking about last Christmas, this Christmas or a lonely Christmas? And finally, back to Elvis. Is he having a white Christmas, a blue Christmas or red Christmas? <clears throat> So five correct answers could get you in with maybe even four correct answers could get you in with a chance of winning the bottle of Prosecco. I'll come back with the answers and I'll be closing off the quiz after the second song. Back to you, Joe. No, I haven't. So Lynn's checking that I've unmuted myself, and I hadn't, un even though I've got my unmute Joe from Amanda. Just from I'm Amanda here. Shuri, yeah, exactly. Sorry about that. Uh, John, thank you for the quiz. Um, I think this evening we stand a good chance of having a 38-way a split on the prize tonight because I think I knew all those answers. I think they were pretty easy. I, I was singing one of them while, while John was asking the questions. I'm wriggling in my seat. I don't know why. I don't feel comfortable. I haven't um, touched you. Exactly. She's lying. <laughs> she's lying. She's always touched. Who, who was the interviewer who used to touch people's knees? What was his name? Was it, it wasn't Parky used to touch people's knees. Teddy Wogan? Oh, no, Wogan. I think it was. Right. Uh, um, Jan Moncrief, Lady of Lock, Lock. She's back after, de after delayed flights. We chuffed a bit. Uh, John, it's going to keep you very busy because everyone is guessing these answers. Sally Brooke. Sally, I hope you're well. Happy Christmas. Uh, we're going to have our next song. Um, it's a beautiful song. It's from Hector Gilchrist. Sadly, we lost Hector this year. Um, this song is by Ian Walker. And it's called Roses in, in December or December. As uh, Hector says, it's beautiful and we couldn't not uh, include Hector. Um, he was a lovely man. Let's have some love and likes, Mr. Hector Gilchrist. Roses in December, Ian Walker. We left the school in springtime with 18 years away. The parties and the dancing. The laughing and the play The worldly all around us Like the space among the stars But by winter time I'd lost you In that short and bloody war Roses in December See my winter darkness through Like roses in December are my memories of you By summertime we'd made our plans To love, hold and share You looked for work, you wouldn't shirk But no one seemed to care No training scheme would fill your dreams That wasn't meant for you so you signed on for the forces And you joined that faithful crew Roses in December See my winter darkness through Like roses in December Are my memories of you The ship sailed on the morning tide the band played and we cheered We looked forward both day and night No reason to be scared The finest fleet in all the seas They'd show the enemy But winter nights grew longer When they started that killing spree Roses in December See my winter darkness through 
Like roses in December Are my memories of you The news came like a driving punch That throws you to the ground He's dead, he's dead, run around my head An empty, aching sound The shell had struck, the ship burned out You never stood a chance That bloody war, that nation's pride Had stopped your teenage dance Roses in December See my winter darkness through Like roses in December Are my memories of you A cross stands on that lonely hill On that distant island shore It's so peaceful now You'd never think There'd ever be no war But when leaders say they might have talked I just break down and cry Why did they not start talking Before they had to die Roses in December See my bitter darkness through Like roses in December Are my memories of you Beautiful, absolutely beautiful I was just saying uh, while uh, Hector was singing there uh, Hector, I think what I love about Hector's delivery he has a delivery that's almost like an old world style an old style delivery that's really beautiful um he never have made a rapper he might actually you never know um but i love that old sort of just a beautiful singing voice uh so it was my pleasure to play it thank you for requesting that uh alison humphreys is with us from gabrielle island off are you paying attention, Jim? I am. He's so busy looking at all of these yeah. screens. He's fascinated by the screens. It's like a kid looking in the sweet shop window, <laughs> thinking what's going on. All those um, <coughs> shiny things. All the colours and stuff and the shiny stuff. Uh, and we were just, we were, I, I just explained it to Jim that I've just got a new camera, so I'm getting reasonably good at the photography thing. And I, I was trying to explain that I try not to buy equipment before I'm good enough to use the equipment. And I've, I've kind of evolved with the photography, so I've been buying more and more cameras. And Jim said, is that why you've had the same guitar for 50 years? <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks, Jim. That was a big compliment. He didn't really say it. I said it. He's a lovely fella. Right. Um, we're going to have some... We're gonna, I have the whole conversation for us. You just sit there looking good in your Christmas T-shirt. Um, right. Let's have some birthday. Janet Pitt, the governor's with us tonight. Reg, I saw you. I saw your name appear on the screen. He is. He's here. Reg. Reg. Keep getting better, mate. Janet's birth... I believe it's today. Correct me if I'm wrong. 21st of December. And last night, I do stand by my word most of the time, I delivered two bottles of Prosecco because they won. Right. In previous two. You've had all yours, I think. Yep, yeah, I've had all mine. Yeah, um, drunk them. Rosie. Rosie Capon from um, Poppies. Rosie and, and uh, Li- Linda. Capon. Yeah, Rosie and Linda, who perform at... Poppies, little Rosie. Oh, little Rosie. Birthday on the 19th of December. Peter Watson from Unplug the Wood. His birthday on the 20th. And on the 30th of December, Trudy Brunskill. I think Trudy's ace. I like Trudy. So there you go. Happy birthday. If I've missed anybody out, do mention it. It was 19th. Jo- What's the date today? 20. Sorry. It was Jan- Janet's birthday on the 19th. Happy birthday. Rob McBurney um, says you need a new chair. No, I don't. This is the no. He's jealous. Is he? Sib- sibling rivalry. This is the best chair you can uh, buy. This is the. This is literally the best office chair in the world. Apparently, it's some bloke's birthday on the twenty fifth. Twenty fifth of December too. Oh. <laughs> oh Jesus. Not Edam. <laughs> baby, Edam. baby Jesus. 
<laughs> it is, of course. It's it's, it's Santa. It's, yeah. Santa. So it's not, yeah. Uh, no, he he just delivers. He has to deliver yeah, the. Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. He Crikey. has to just deliver. He's that just the works. gopher delivering the presents. Right, we've done the birthdays. Yeah. If, if I've missed any out, other than the baby Jesus, twenty first Joe, the shortest day. Well, well done, Mum. Oh yeah. My mum says it's, it's the short. It's Yule today. So it's the shortest it. day to... Because you're is. a witch. I know, so, I forgot. Li- Lynn, is it, she forgot. She's <laughs> an ageing... Happy Yule. Keep, Happy it clean, Yule. keep it clean. She's yeah. an ageing witch. Yeah. She's losing her mind. She's forgetting things. Happy Yule, everybody. Happy Yule. Oh, crikey. Yule. What's it, is that where Yule Log comes from? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, As, after I can <laughs> Jim. Jim. <laughs> Feel free to laugh along if you can hear what's being said in the background. Right, we need to focus here. Hold on a minute. Right, we've done the birthdays. Now, uh, uh, Jan Moncrief's with us. Jan, it's lovely that you can join us, especially as you're just back from your holiday. Uh, Brian Finnegan's birthday today. Thank you, Jan. Um, but will Santa's wonderful blue Christmas... Blue chestnuts last? What? What? Alison's on the vodka. Oh. It's only midday. It's only midday in Canada, and she's already having a quick shifty. Right. Um, so we're going to hear Jan Moncrief and Phil McCready. I'm not going to introduce it because not only did she send me a video, she did the, she did an introduction. Clearly, I'm rubbish. She did her own introduction. It's very good of you, Jan, and I'm really pleased. And while you're there, I'm going to do the Northwest 500. There's a road you can drive around. The top of Scotland, isn't there? Yeah. Me and my friends are going to do it. We've already agreed that in the first half of next year, we're going to do a little trip. Jolly good. We're going to Loch Lochie. Right. Yeah, we're going to go to Loch Lochie. Right, let's have some love and likes for Jan and, and Phil. Phil. yeah. Beers Law. Hello, everybody. And welcome to the beautiful island of Madeira. Where we're actually having an Atlantic storm at the moment, which you may be able to see behind us and from the... Hairstyles. <laughs> they really enjoy Christmas here, and actually today is the 8th of December, which is the uh, the first day of their big celebrations, and they put up with loads of lights, and it's just amazing, actually. Oh, yeah, oh, and the oh, and the sun has yeah. actually come out now. Come yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, yes, yeah, so they really love to celebrate they Christmas do, here. Yes. So. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> we've <we're, laughs> done a slightly different song this year. It's. Uh, it's called Northern Lights, which I'm sure you all know. Uh, and although it's not actually a Christmas song, it's in the Northern Hemisphere, that's when we mostly see the Northern Lights in the winter season. So this is our song this year, and um, it's, it's got some interesting writers. Yes. Yeah, and the it man was, was uh, Michael Dunford. Michael Dunford, and, and his, he, his partner who wrote it with him. It's called Betty Thatcher, Thatcher. New Singer, Singer, which is very interesting. Oh, name. At least this is what we've we've been told. Yes, so, yes. <laughs> and of course, right. it was first done by Renaissance. So, so, hope you enjoy it and, and uh, have a very, very merry Christmas. Christmas. Destination outward bound, I turn to see the northern lights behind the wing. Horizon seemed to beckon me, learned how to cry to young, so now I live to sing. The northern lights are in my mind, they guide me back. Horizon seem to beckon me, learn how to cry to young son now I live to sing You know it's hard away from you Travelling roads and passing through It's not for money and it's not for fame I just can't explain Sometimes it's lonely Marking space between the days Early hours pass away I sing to you of northern lights Sing to you of northern lights Past 
past or future here or there Shelter comes in words from you so talk to me I hear your voice it comforts me in morning dreams I take your hand you walk with me The northern lights are in my mind they guide me back to you Peace and folds the still night there home again I look for you and find Destination homeward now Take the easy way, bring me down Making the hard way now I see Hard to be really free I'm missing you near me Marking space between the days Early hours pass away I sing to you of northern lights Sing to you of northern lights Come on. Woo. Very good. <clears throat> a great song. Really well. A good, full production sound. That's really good. The best I've ever seen of this. Really good. Brilliant. Harmony. It's a big thumbs up yeah. from everybody in the shoot and the green room. Yeah, we got a big thumbs up. For, yeah, John's thumbs up Yay. as well. He had to put his dirty snacking down to do his thumbs up, but he's there. Um, <laughs> Alison Humphreys says, terrific. We agree. We thought that was fat. Anna Bass. I love Anna, as, almost as much as I love Ray. They're great. Oh, I'll say it later. I'll, t I'll, I'll mention it later. <laughs> right, I've opened my present from um, Doris. Doris. It's a seed. I've never heard of it. It's from Germany. I'm going to listen to that. It's quite thick. I think there might be a tenor in it. Yeah. Get a tenor with every CD. Fabulous. Uh, what have we got going on here? Right. I didn't put a Christmas jumper on, but I did. I did bring out the Pedro Jimenez, and I don't drink. But we were gonna be, we were gonna have a little glass of Lustau Pedro Jimenez, Christmas in a bottle. <laughs> we're gonna have a little schnuffy of that later. Medicinal, medicinal. Annie Landon's with us. Good evening, Annie. Right, uh, Jim McLean's <laughs> saying great vid, great. <laughs> he's, in it, he's, in, he's swigging at the bottle while I'm not looking. Right, uh, where are we up to? We're going to find out who is tonight's quiz winner. You can see that's Jim in the back. But no, <laughs> they can see you, Jim. Sorry. <laughs> I, I love think it. They noticed. No, Do you know what? I'm I, two full on characters. <laughs> I, I could not have asked for. for uh, uh, better people to join me on this festive occasion. <laughs> festive occasion. Yeah. Wonderful. Get on with it, Joe. So, uh, we're going to go back over to the Ive Tech Media to find out who is tonight's quiz winner. Come in, Mr. John Ive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. 
and I love it because uh, so many of you put in your answers this time. So, um, as Joe said, made hard work for me, but I love it. It's great to see so many people participating and getting the answers right as well. So, um, talking about the answers, let's very quickly go through them. I'll set that up here. And, yeah, there we go. So, Paul McCartney's... Um, Christmas was a wonderful Christmas, of course, and I'm just looking at the answers. Hmm, one or two of you got that wrong, but of course most of you got it right. Then, um, who's coming to town? Well, that, oh yes, everybody got that right. Uh, Santa Claus, of course. Not Frosty, not Rudolph, but Santa. Then, um, well, you couldn't get this one wrong because I gave away the answer. Um, that was chestnuts, which were roasting by an open fire. I used to think that was on an open fire, but it was actually by an open fire. Um, and a classic Christmas song from 1945. Um, then uh, George Michael was singing about a last Christmas, not this Christmas or lonely Christmas. And that was when he was in the duo Wham! Um, originally released in 1984 on CBS Records, written and produced by George Michael, that song was. And um, there, someone raised a technicality here on this last question, number five. Uh, my answer was blue, but someone has commented that, um, that Elvis also sang about a white Christmas as well. So we had to give some credit for that just in case that's the case. So those are the answers to the five questions. And you want to know who the winner is. Let me just see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I've got eight people who actually got the answer right. I handed the uh, list over without the names to Lottie. And um, helped by uh, Jane, they randomly picked Fanfare of Trumpets. Where is it? It's not here. OK. They randomly picked... Sally Brooke, well done, Sally. You are tonight's winner of a bottle of Prosecco and you got all the answers right. Well done and well done to everybody else. Fantastic quiz, really enjoyed it and you seem to enjoy it too. Thanks very much. Back to you, Joe. Because I haven't, Lynn's pointing because I haven't turned my microphone on again. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, I'll get the hang of it eventually. We're only on show number 57. Uh, thank you, John, very much. And congratulations, Sa Sally Brooke. Now, I'm actually going to jump to a different screen. Winners. So if I do this and we can look at who were the winners, but if you look here, week 36, Sally Brooke, dog food. So we're going to send some dog food over to... Now, I don't know whether that's actually possible, but I reckon what I could do, Sally, is if you private... Let me come back on the screen a second. I'm going to come back. Sally, uh, well done for winning again. I'd like you to um, private message me your home address, your proper name and home address, in case it's a note. Oh, my, well, I'll give my bottle to the second... No, no, Sally. So, no, we, we need to sort this out, So, because you've won twice now, Sally. Please send me your home address, and we are going to somehow... We're going to get that to you. We're going to get something to you, or if you want something different, let me know. But please send me your home address, and if you don't, I'll just hound you constantly for it, because um, I think we should send you something. Uh, let me say here the quiz. Oh, yeah. Sally... Brooke, they're talking amongst themselves. It's because they've already had a little glass of Pedro Jimenez. Mm. It's the, and the verdict? Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. Exactly. If you, I need to bring it back again. It's a festive Christmas. If you've never had Pedro Jimenez. Jimenez. Lust out Pedro. You can buy it from Waitrose. I don't know where I bought this one. You can probably buy it on Amazon. But Take note, Jill. Pedro Jimenez, <laughs> it's absolutely, it's like Christmas in, in, mm. in a glass, isn't it? Christmas Lovely. in a bottle. Christmas yeah. in a bottle, it's absolutely delicious. Um, and I don't really drink sherry, it's not really my kind of thing, but it's really good. Okay, right, where are we? We have her in the studio. Well, she's not going to perform live tonight. She's just enjoying herself, kicking back, having a little Pedro Jimenez and some cheesy puffs. Oh. Cheesy saying, puffs. You're not allowed to call them cheesy puffs anymore. These are cheesy puffs. They call them something different now. Why, why do we have to change the names of everything? Cheesy non-binary. 
Cheesy tasters. Cheese tasters. I'm not nothing. It's a cheesy puff. Come on, right. Um, we're going to hear from Lynn next. Our next act, act number five this evening, is Lynn Reynolds, the luscious, lovely. I tried lickable. That that didn't work. No, did we it? don't do uh, lickable. Can you th- th- a nice word, Al. 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 No. Starting in L. Oh, no. A nice word starting with L. <laughs> luscious. Luscious. I've done luscious. Done luscious. Right. Um, Lovable. Lubricatious. Um, lubricatious. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, put the Pedro Jimenez down. Okay, let's. Jill, <laughs> Jill, I hope you're not listening because that was that was. It's not even nine o'clock, Jim. Stop it. Move right, on, move, move on. on. We're going to hit, hit... Now, this is really, really good, and I, I clearly I've, I've watched it already. Um, and really, I should have allowed John to introduce this, but I thought, no, I want to do it because I like it too. Uh, this has uh, been recorded this week, I think, or, or certainly recently, very recently. Uh, some of the detail is fantastic, and if you look at the detail, that's not easy to do. Um, so it, it's a fantastic song. Um, it's one of Lynn's own songs. Put it this way... Try videoing a cat and telling it what to do. So if you like the song, it's called Me, the Dog and the Cat. It's called no, the, dog, it the Dog, the Cat and Me. <laughs> the Dog, the Cat and Me, it says it. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> I can Don't read. Lottie and Timmy. Me okay. and the cat yes. and the dog. Sorry, uh, so it's, dog, it, it's, cat and, um... it's Lottie, Timmy and me and Lynn. Yes, it's called. it is. Uh, and actually, this is a really lovely little Christmas um, album because I've been playing some of my Christmas albums recently. This one's from Cup of Joe. That's a good one too. So I play my little Christmas selections. We'll talk about albums later. <laughs> right, let's have some love and likes while we have another little shufty of the P- Pedro Jimenez and some cheesy cracker things. Um, Lynn Reynolds, The Dog, The Cat and Me recorded at Ive Tech Media. <laughs> Just the glow of a starry light Outside it's cold, years grown old On this winter night Here inside we all hide Under the Christmas tree Waiting for Santa Claus The dog, the cat and me Mommy said Stay Till the morning light Do not be Go to sleep For he won't come tonight But if we're still We think he will And we can't wait to see Like we should The dog, the cat and me Waiting patiently for him to come Won't this be fun for dog, the cat and me? Right. We 
nearly fell asleep But look around, what's this we've found All in a pretty heap There's toys galore and so much more As far as eyes can see For Jod the cat and me Dear old Saint Nick Was far too quick For Jod the cat and me Come on. Hi, John's. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry. Woo. Hey. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is wonderful. Come on. <laughs> how, lo yeah, how lovely was that? The video, all, all the... Beautiful Santa. recording, John. It, all good. It sounded great in here. And getting the dog and the cat... John, it's good. It's good. Yeah, impressed with that. And a lovely song by Lynn Reynolds. Her own song. Unlike the covers. Undercover. <laughs> the cover. Fabulous. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a raffle. Really great stuff. Anna Bass. My mum just found the cat watching on my phone. Oh, <laughs> what has in the screen so small you couldn't see the cat? <laughs> it's good, mum. Beautiful, beautiful. Ray Taylor, big hug, Ray. Uh, let me gonna. I'm gonna mention it. Cards. I've had loads, loads of nice little Christmas cards. I got a nice card from Jan, Tony and Phil. Thank you very much. I've got one of Jamie. Thank you very much. Um, one, I've mentioned Anne and Colin. I've got an e-card. How modern is that? You had um, an e-card? Yes. Uh, I've had yeah. quite a few. Oh, really? Oh. You had I don't e like them. People. An e-card? People no. send you... The, well... Because yeah, well, you, yeah. you, you can't make Christmas decorations out of them the following no, year, no. can you? You can't. You can't rub out the writing and send them to somebody send them to else. someone else. It's a, <laughs> I used to have a friend, and we used to send the same card to each other each yeah, year. We'd yeah. just sign it and send it back. <laughs> Birthdays worked cheap as chips. Right. I've had an e card from Bass and Taylor. Thank you, Bass and Taylor. I've had an e card from Clive and Fran Handy. Thank you very much. And I've had an e card from Leslie and Hugh Lachlan. Thank you very much. And a card, of course. Well, I've actually had cake and a CD from Doris from Germany. It's all appreciated. And I'm going to mention a few CDs later because I've had some gifts too. Fabulous. We're going to do the we're going to do the raffle. It's a free raffle. <laughs> the raffle meister is absent without leave. Well, where is he? He's for the where bullet. He's for the bullet. Do, to sorry to announce that on like it's I mean that that's that's more shocking than yeah. David Bowie oh, saying no. this is it. No Sam White. You know, three strikes and you're out, I three? say. He's had about seven I strikes. Know, I know. We're far too kind. We're far too considerate and generous and lovely and all those things. So our raffle Mistress. Mistress, yeah. Um <laughs> The lovely I'm not gonna try it again. Ooh, Lynn Reynolds. True. Lynn Reynolds, let's have a little look. Before we do, last week's winner. Let me just do this. The raffle last time was our Robbie. Yeah, Robbie. Our Robbie. Robbie. Start doing your exercises, Robbie. Warming those thighs up because we're going skiing soon. <laughs> oh, God. Exactly. <laughs> Not for the raffle. Don't get carried. Sorry, Lynn. Don't let... Don't Sorry. Let. I was just Sh warming the thighs up. Shall I show you a picture of them so you can visualise? <laughs> um, right. Uh, let's just do this now. Uh Raffle rules. Come in, Lynn. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's me again. I'm afraid uh, Sam is off gallivanting, I don't know, with the elves or whatever. And uh, as we've said, you know, I think it's his time has come, really. But we do still have a raffle prize, and you know the Ooh. rules. We just want to see some lovely, lovely comments in the feed as the next... Who is the next artist, as a matter of interest? My folk crush. Oh, 
the folk crush, yeah. Sue Graves. So Christmas. I want to see lots of lovely comments about Sue Graves. And you will win not only a bottle of Prosecco, but a very special bottle of Prosecco because... It's got tinsel on it. It's orange. And it's orange. <laughs> so this is for you. If you give some lovely comments in the next few minutes, I'll look forward to announcing the winner anon. Thank you, Lynn, very much. You probably heard me coughing down. I've been a little bit poorly. Phil McCready's with us. Thank you, Phil. Janet Pears is watching. Mike Baker. Good evening, Mike. Uh, Sally. Perfect. We're all on board. Um, and we are going to hear from... So, I recently... I forget time. It's like being the Doctor Who in a, in a weird kind of way. Um, all feeling the same. I job. can't time travel. I just <laughs> I just kind of forget completely. Uh, I went to Ready Folk recently. It's probably the best way to describe it. Um, Rye Wolf were the main act. I do like a bit of Rye Wolf. They do a good shanty. Mm. Um, fortunately for me, my folk crush was there, Sue Graves. For anybody who doesn't know Sue Graves, this is a little card with her picture on and this is her album there autumn gold sorry let me just move lynn's album there <laughs> um and so uh, uh, you know, i'm going to mention albums um because so you're always so lovely and so kind to me um sue bought me an album for christmas from the rainbow girls and do you remember them in lockdown i do the three girls from california or somewhere on the west coast of the u.s <coughs> really good it's called rolling dumpster fire Beautiful album. Thank you, Sue, for that. And also, the one I've been listening to today, who I've never heard of, is Ellie Gowers. Gowers? Yeah, Ellie Gowers. Beautiful voice. What a fantastic voice. And the voice reminds me of the Iona Lane album. Very similar kind of style. Very British Isles. Pure, clear voice. Singing in the hills and the valleys. and Really good. Beautiful. It's a great album. So I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. I've sent you a present, but it's not actually left yet. I'll send. <laughs> I'll send you evidence because it, it, it was. Blame the postal strike. You could. Well, I don't know what it was. It's the seventeenth. I ordered it on the seventeenth, mm -hmm. the day after Ready Folk. Right. Um, we are going to hear Sue Graves because I. The, the whole point to mention in Sue was, I recorded Sue Graves while I was at Ready Folk. I couldn't not, and it's a beautiful song. Um, for, we, May I also mention, while we're talking about my love, my lovely friend Sue Graves. She's my friend too. Apart from the fact she's in the studio with Doris tomorrow, she is going to be singing with me Ooh. on the Lynn and Friends gig at Ready Folk oh. on the 15th of January. 15th of January. 15th of January. I better make sure I'm there. Make oh. a note. Oh, I think, yes, I can. Hooray! I'll be, I'll be able to go. Well, you can sing with me as well then. Um, right. <laughs> uh, this song, you'll know the song for sure. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. First uh, recorded by Bing Crosby, 1943. Everyone's guessing the wrong one at this point. Yeah. For sure. I'm... Yeah, they're guessing the wrong one, right. of course. Um, <laughs> and um, But it was written by three other people, which comes up in the credits, so make sure you read the credits. Anyway, I think it's beautiful. Uh, of course I do. It's Sue Graves, uh, the Surrey Nightingale. Uh, I'll be home for Christmas. I'll be home for Christmas You can count on me It's half snow and mistletoe Ha! Uh -huh. 
have snow and mistletoe and presents on the tree. Christmas Eve will find me where the lamplight gleams. Excellent. Sue Graves, I'm in no doubt that you all enjoyed that just as much as we did here in the studio. How lovely. That was lovely. Are we ready, Lynn? I'm re always ready, you know We've got me. The but the microphone's still Ever on. ready, I don't know. Uh, and I... I have we got a winner? Yes, we have. We have got a winner. Well, hold on. Let me just get the camera on you. Let me get the camera. Well. <laughs> now we can see you. There you go. Crikey. Well, I'm so pleased to, to, to be able to tell you that our technology, which has been particularly spot on tonight... It's been very, very good, our technology. It I've pressed, I've pressed all the right buttons <laughs> over here. And that's right. And it's finally come up with tonight's winner. And I'm over the moon to say that tonight's winner is none other than the lovely Annette. My McBurney. My mum. <laughs> well, that's what the technology over here says. Well done, Annette. Congratulations. I should try and... Uh, let me just come back to here. Thank you, Lynn, very, very much. <laughs> what I should do is try and swing my camera around because the technology is Jim McLean sticking his finger on the screen. <laughs> it was a bit of a joint effort. Mum, I'm sure, I think that's the first time my mum's won. I think it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was Jim. That was Jim. <laughs> the technology... How I just describe him as a big hunk of Scotty. Who came up with that? Who's the first person who said that? Well, Someone did. I'm very sorry to say it was you, Joe. Was it really? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 one, one dark evening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> we were both feeling down. Jim, don't. <laughs> don't cause if I start coughing, I won't stop. Mum, you've won the raffle. Fantastic. I think that's the first time. And we're up, we're up in Liverpool soon, so that'll be brilliant. Uh, I can just write Mum. <laughs> Mum. How good is that? That's easier to write than Annette McBurney. Fabulous. Well done, Mum. Is, is Mum out there? She might have drifted off. Gone to bed. She's gone to sleep. She bloody missed it. Come on, Annette. Oh, flipping heck, Mum. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, everybody seems to be happy about that. Yeah. Um, it's summer murders, probably. Exactly. <laughs> right. Um, so, oh, uh, dear. and thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, darling. Yes. Oh, it's a pleasure. You've got lovely little earrings in, haven't you? Um, right. You've got a couple of balls. Um, and you, Jim? Well, <laughs> so, this is the 21st century. So, yes. Um, just before we go to our next announcement, I'm drinking Guinness Zero. I don't really do alcohol these days. Yeah. Oh, what did I do? Talk I don't believe it. Wow. Placement. Oh, bless her. Look. Product placement. I should get sponsored or something. Um, Guinness Zero. It's done really bloody sherry. He's done yeah, Guinness. It does exactly. So but it's, CDs. But when you don't when you don't drink anymore and you find something that's really good, because you'd never know there was no alcohol in it. I'm so. sorry about this, dear listener, but we are having fun. So, ha! <laughs> huh. yeah, right. uh, what did you, Mum? You won the raffle. She says, "What did I do?" Yeah, Bless I'm her. still. Yeah, Mum, you're there. What did you do? You know, of all the things she's lost, she misses her mind the most. <laughs> we were going to get her one for Christmas. Mum, we're up soon. We're up soon, and I'll bring you a bottle of fizz. <coughs> uh, right. Um, I, I'm not introducing them. Act number eight. No, act number seven. We're going to go across to Ive Tech Media to Mr. John Ive. Come in, John. Hi, everyone. We had the pleasure of having um, two sessions uh, two very unique sessions for the Folk O'Clock Club tonight in the studio in uh, recent weeks. Uh, both of them are Christmas themed. And actually, both of the acts have also have a very close connection to Hector in one way or another. So his memory lives on. 
But this first act are Moonlight Foxes, and I'm sure many of you have, know Moonlight Foxes. They've been performing locally and um, further afield as well um, for some time. Very well-known and much-loved uh, couple. That's Faye and Alan. So they're very accomplished musicians, and um, they came into the studio and recorded two songs uniquely for the Folk O'Clock Club, and in order to preserve that sort of live uh, feeling, uh, these recordings, both this one and the other one that you'll hear, were recorded two songs in sequence, no breaks. I haven't cut anything out. I haven't edited anything. It's live as it was recorded live in the studio. So I hope you enjoy it. I know you will enjoy it. But this first session is from Alan and Faye, Moonlight Foxes, with their special Christmas recording. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. It is brilliant to be here on the special Christmas Folk O'Clock show. We are so honoured to have been invited. And you'll notice I'm saying we, and there is nobody here, is there? But Alan is over there in the wings waiting to join me for the second song. So it's brilliant that he is able to be here tonight and that I'm not a lone fox. So I'm going to start off today with a David Essex song, which was actually written by Mike Batt, and it's one that I hope you're all going to sing along with. The night is so cold now Maybe I should close the door But anyway the snow has covered all your footprints And I can follow you no more The fire still burns at night My memories are warm and clear But everybody knows it's hard to be alone At this time of year It was only a winter's tale Just another winter's tale And why should the world take notice Of one more love that's failed It's a love that could never be Though it meant a lot to you and me On a worldwide scale We're just another winter's tale While I stand alone Her bell is ringing far away I wonder if you hear I wonder if you're listening I wonder where you are today Good luck, I wish you well For all that wishes may be worth I hope that love and strength Are with you till the end of your time on earth It was only a winter's tale just another winter's tale And why should the world take notice Of one more love that's failed It's a love that could never be Though it meant a lot to you and me On a worldwide scale We're just another winter his tale It was only a winter's tale Just another winter's tale And why should the world take notice Of one more love that's failed It's a love that could never be Though it meant a lot to you and me On a worldwide scale We're just another winter's tale 
Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Now, Alan, would you like to come up here and join me and just delight everybody with your presence? And while he does that, I'm going to move the mic so we can fit him onto the stage. And I'm going to tune up again, because all this capo using doesn't do your tuning much good, does it, Alan? It doesn't. Hello, everyone. This is the first time we've actually played together since when, Alan? Yeah, so it it's... It's cellar bar. So this is special for us. I'm just going to please bear with while I retune. We don't want to offend anybody who's listening. And I know if something's slightly out, it does sound pretty horrible. Right, I think we're okay. Get my magic pick out. And there it is. You will know this song too, so feel free to sing along. I'll be ready. A long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say, Mary's boy, child Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. A long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say, Mary's boy, child Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, new king born today, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. While shepherds watch their flocks by night, they see a bright new shining star. Then we hear a choir sing, the music seemed to come from afar. Now Joseph and his wife Mary came to Bethlehem that night. Then find no place to hold your child, not a single room was inside. Hark now hear the angels sing, a new king born today. And man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day By and by they find a little nook In a stable all forlorn And in a manger cold and dark Mary's little boy was born Ah, now hear the angels sing A new king born today And man will Forevermore, because of Christmas Day. Trumpets sound and angels sing. Listen to what they say. That man will live forevermore, because of Christmas Day. And man will live forevermore, because of Christmas Day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And thank you again for having us. We would like to give you a little message before we go, which involves these. So we want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a peaceful and wonderful New Year. And, yeah, have a great time. God bless. Yeah. Oh. Moonlight foxes. No. Don't spit your mince pie out, Lou. No. <laughs> we are having mince pies. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying Jim McLean's a bloody diva, but when, when, when I, you know, we sent him over the contract to appear on the Folk O'Clock show, he wrote in it, he has to have M&S, mince pies. <laughs> Deep filled was, was definitely in the clause. Deep filled, mince pies. So on the way home from, from M&S, I stopped off at Morrison's and got some Morrison's ones because they're £1.25 and I prefer them. Right, so we're having a mince pie. I hope you're all having mince pies and being a bit festive, as you do. Right, um, yeah, the Moonlight Fox is really good. Excellent. Faye yeah. and Alan. Yeah. yeah, really lovely. And again, a beautiful video and a beautiful recording. Thank you, John, very much. Well, the next song is not a Christmas song. But it's the Christmas show, and you've got to have a, 
a sea shanty on every show. Absolutely. And I think the the the, the pirates and the seamen, they must have stop it. Stop it. She's just she's just spat. <laughs> me. Not. At me. The pirates. <laughs> Jim's looking away. Right. Uh, I think I think pirates and the the fishermen and things. <laughs> <laughs> they, Fisherman's friends. They sing. They sing, <laughs> sing sea shanties at Christmas time. They must do. Anyway, who are our favourite? <laughs> <laughs> they, they must do. I mean, it's, it's the only logical thing. Isn't it? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Cause I'm going to start coughing. <laughs> we'll get it together in a minute, guys. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. <clears throat> right. We're going to hear from the Dalton Gang. Jimmy Drury. <laughs> Mervyn Booth, Roger Dalton, <laughs> Seaman Street, and the governor. <laughs> and the gov- <laughs> It is past nine o'clock. And Captain Pugwash. Captain Pugwash, yeah. <laughs> right. No, and the governor, Reg Pierce. <laughs> and I, and I, I, I mean it every time, but come on, let, let's have some proper love and likes for the Dalton gang oh, yeah. performing. Excellent. And sing along. This is a great one. Keep hauling. When love just seems so far away Keep on, keep on The tide will flood your heart someday Keep on, on When you're guiding stars in the cloudy skies Keep on Keep hauling. 
I love a sea shanty. <coughs> None better than the Dalton Gang. No. no. I had to play it to Reg. I had to play it tonight. Reg has been poorly. Reg, especially for you, mate. You need to keep getting well. Yep. Keep getting well. <laughs> I dropped up a couple of bottles of fizz last night. I don't know if that's going to help. I don't know whether that's medicinal, but I'll stop you thinking about yes, it. Yes, it is. Fantastic. <coughs> and I've eaten me mince pie. I dropped half of it on my jumper, but I've cleaned up. And on my legs. Uh, I don't know how many of the I don't know how many of the Dalton gang are online, but look at all the lovely claps and applause we're seeing there. Jonathan Molyneux, Jonathan, I hope you're well. Alan Lovegrove, you're up with us tonight. Alan, thanks for the last song. Really good. Uh, <coughs> Mo's online. Hello, Mo. Ace, right. We're going to go back to Ive Tech Media. It's like it's like ping pong, isn't it? Like table but mm. backwards and forwards. My co-host, Mr. John Ive, is going to introduce. Oh, the next act. <laughs> While I have another mince pie. Oh God! <laughs> come, come in, come in, Mr. John Ive. I get the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. That's a pretty unusual introduction with a burp in between, but <laughs> no worries. So um, this second. Uh, live performance in the studio, recorded in the studio, um, is from a face that may not be so familiar to you. Um, uh, this person actually, again, was introduced to me by Hector, and her name is Wendy Grossman. She actually lives in London. She is a fantastic multi-instrumentalist. Um, we've recorded guitar, banjo, auto harp, um, all sorts of squeeze boxes or whatever, because we were recording an album um, of traditional and historic folk songs, or traditional songs at least, for a heritage album, which uh, she's being sponsored for, and for which the money is going to the Help Musicians Charity. Um, she's a fantastic performer, and I have to say, I put her on the spot for this one, so you'll have to be a little bit generous because um, I put her on the spot and while she was doing the recording for the album, I said, why don't you just do a couple of songs um, for uh, the Folk O'Clock show and for our special Christmas show. So she didn't have a long time to rehearse, um, but I think you'll still enjoy it because it will show, um, I'm sure, what a great performer Wendy Grossman is. But the um, proof is in the... Um, pudding so why don't you have a listen and see what you think wendy grossman performing two songs for you um recorded live in the studio hi so uh this is a song that is tenuously about christmas in that uh, part of it happens on christmas day and it is the sort of Christmas that I hope none of you are going to have because it is about a woman who is grieving the death of her three children, which is uh, not, n not the Christmas I would wish on anyone. It, uh, it's an American version of, an, of a f frequently sung British ballad called The Wife of Usher's Well. And uh, I learned it in the 70s from a guy named Bill Dessler, who was a banjo player in Ithaca, New York at the time, uh, and he tells me that he learned it from a uh, singer called Texas Gladdens, and uh, she does have a CD out uh, if, if you want to find out more about her music. Babes away. 
boys on one dark, cold Christmas morn. When everything was still, she saw those three little babes come a-running, come a-running down the hill. She set them a table with the wine and meat. of Usher's Well. <laughs> um, so, moving on to something maybe a little less depressing for Christmas. Um, actually, I'm going to take this off. Um, uh, last year, <coughs> last year, I, I spent a lot of time on Twitter, or I did before Elon Musk took it over. And uh, last year, a friend of mine posted a video of this guy who styled him, styles himself on Twitter, Ramses the Pigeon. And you can look, look him up under that name. Uh, but whose real name was revealed to me just this morning uh, on a Yahoo article as Max Patrick Schlinger, who is a writer and editor in Edinburgh. And uh, he, he wrote this, and I, I do recommend going and looking up the original video because it's, very, it's, it's actually even funnier. Uh, but... Uh, I can't do five-part harmony as well as I used to, so I have uh, resorted to singing it unaccompanied. God rest ye merry gentlemen is a fun Christmas song, and that's too high. God rest ye merry gentlemen is a fun Christmas song, but singing it makes us wonder where the commas belong. We need to understand their placement or we'll sing it wrong. So let's find where the punctuation goes, nobody knows. We'll discover how the commas shape the prose. A comma before gentlemen means them whom we address. So rest ye merry after God, she could be something like bless. Or are they merry gentlemen invited to distress? Is this song about frolicsome fellows having a doze? Are we singing about celebrants' repose? Putting the comma after God won't make sense anymore unless this ye is being used as Old English for your, in which case this means take control, God, of your rowdy core. Is this song about quiet God bestows boisterous bros? Are we asking God for order to impose? With two commas, then God here was a swear to emphasize, like, damn it, vent your merriment and go to bed now, guys. Are we so peeved by revelry that we antagonize? Is this song casting carolers as foes? Well, we suppose, but that all seems kind of like it's on the nose. At this point, we've been through each comma possibility. So as a last resort, we'll turn to the song's history. The comma before gentlemen is right, apparently. Ah, so that's where the single comma goes. Now we can close. God rest ye merry, all who fix typos. Thank you and good night. Oh, oh, turn the mic on, I'm clapping. <laughs> Well, Wendy Grossman, I've got to say, 
that's right up my street. Pushing on an open door. I love that. I do. The cl is it claw hammer. Claw hammer banjo. Claw hammer banjo. And and the voice just perfect. That's sitting in the kitchen playing yeah. songs. My kind of thing. Just real. Just pure music and and entertainment. I thought it was Wendy. Uh, I thought it was great. Wendy, if you're out there, thank you very much. And thank you for John. Really, really well put together. Yeah, really, really. Are you there, John? We can hear you. Come on. He's messing. I'm doing your trick. Yeah, I'm being exactly. muted. Exactly. <laughs> John, I, I think it was fantastic. Uh, and thanks for uh, getting her involved. Re really great. No, I'm, I'm looking forward. I hope we can share the album she's doing when she gets it done. It's going to be absolutely amazing. She's a great performer. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, very impressed. Thank you all very much. And... Um, yeah, loads of great comments. I hope you're out there, Wendy, having a look at the comments. Right. I said I went to Ready Folk. Now, let me just do a couple of more. The last thing I need to talk about, Poppy's Folk Club. Um, the hall that is used for Poppy's Folk Club got vandalised. Somebody yeah, broke yeah, in, yeah. And, which is, it's just, come on. It's not good, is it? Um, so it, was, it had to be cancelled. Um, at the moment, the date is set for the 11th of January. So if you're about Poppy's Folk Club, late Christmas evening is on the 11th of January. Check it out. It'll be good. Uh, let me also mention, while I'm here, Twick Folk. Twick Folk. So I mentioned earlier, Jim's playing with his phone. Uh. I mentioned earlier that the Windmill Acoustic Session, don't, don't mind me, Jim, you just crack on. Enjoy yourself. Um, <laughs> I mentioned, <laughs> I mentioned that. <laughs> I mentioned that the windmill had their 30th anniversary this year. Well, on the 5th of February, 40th anniversary bash at Twig Folk. So it's either the folk club's been running for 40 years or somebody there is having a 40th anniversary. <coughs> uh, but I suspect it's been running for 40 years. This is like their broadsheet. Is it called a broadsheet? You know, when you. Mm. Yeah, Twig Folk, the cabbage patch. There's a whole load of stuff here. Skinner and Twitch, Hatful and Rain, Sally Einmonger and Brian Carter, fab. Good, 40th anniversary, check it out. It's a good club. I've mentioned that, and i mentioned that, and i mentioned Poppies. We're good to go, that's it. All my little jobs have been done. I have to write stuff down because I can't remember. Right, I went to Ready Folk, Rye Wolf for the main event. I like Rival. Uh -huh. they, were, they were going to highlight Poppy's Christmas party. Oh, the, do you know, that's why I'm playing it. Yeah. No, it's not why I'm playing it. I, d I didn't realise. No, because, yeah. yes, they were. Of they course were. they were. And are they going to do the, the, the they're 11th? Going to, when Poppy's has their 11th, okay. course, they'll be on again. Yeah. Okay. But in the meantime, we are going to hear them because they were at Ready Folk. Um... This is a Greg Lake song, so everybody will know what it is now. Recorded in 1974. I've got to tell me silly little story. I used to uh, have a friend 30 years ago. Lynn's looking at her watch. Thinking, how long is this she's, story going to be? She, she, did, she looked at her watch. I know. I know as soon as I going. said I've got a little story, she... I'll make it quick. I knew this guy <laughs> called Richard Miller. Big Dick, we used to call him. And he, he went to university in, in down on the south coast somewhere... As a mature student, he wanted to get a degree as a, as a mature student. So he moved down to the... And then he shared this house with three other guys. And it was in the days of records. And they all put their records in the living room. And he had his Emerson, Lake and Palmer collection with all their... Ooh. They all had them all stacked up. And he came back to the pub and we used to go to Beer O'Clock every Friday night. And he turned up at Beer O'Clock all upset, telling us this sad, sad story that the, the, that the rental house had been broken into. And all the records have been stolen, except Emerson, Lake and Palmer. They left them behind. <laughs> they stole the record collection and left the Emerson, Lake and Palmer records, which we thought was hilarious. Sorry, Richard Miller. He's a fleet guy. He lived in fleet. Anyway, look, this is I Believe in Father Christmas. We all believe in Father Christmas. By Rye Wolf. It's actually originally Greg Lake, this time. Rye Wolf at Ready Folk, I think. Not this Sunday, the Sunday before. Let's have some love and likes. I hope you guys are out there. I think uh, Michael Tuffery joined us for a minute, but his battery was going flat. Right, let's have some love and likes. This 
said there was no end Christmas. They said there'd be peace on earth. But instead it just kept on raining. There are tears for the virgin birth. I remember one Christmas morning, the winter was light. I believe in Father Christmas. <laughs> Lynn's listening to it on her phone. She hasn't had I enough of it. I thought it was so silent. <laughs> Fabulous. Rye Wolf. I believe in Father Christmas. Lynn's still messing with her phone. I'm trying to put it on uh, Ian Friedman, hope you're out there. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure everybody enjoyed it. Reg Pierce. Super. I, sh I sh should stop eating rubbish, shouldn't I? Um... Yeah, fabulous. Love all the comments. Very much appreciated, guys. What a great song. Uh, Ready Folk's a great club. Run by Una and... Is it Richard or Colin? Colin. R Una and Colin. Right. Uh, yes, fizz is medicinal. Faye, I completely agree. It's medicinal. And if nobody sees you drink it, it doesn't matter anyway. Right. Okay. You're right, you're puffed out. Yes, yeah, I've been faffing about. Right, we we are uh, surprisingly um, we've made fantastic time this evening, and I think we're actually going to finish early, which is amazing. I've got nothing else to talk about other than pies, mince pies. Um, anything coming up soon? Yes, fifteenth of January. Lynn and Friends at, at Ready, Ready Folk. Folk. Yes, yeah, Lynn and Friends. Lynn Reynolds, <laughs> Lynn Whiteland and Friends at uh, Ready Folk. And 22nd of January, Lynn Reynolds and Friends at the Windmill. Oh. It's not that I'm hogging the club. All in January? Yes. Oh, well, you should only have to practice for one month in the year. I know. Oh. And the 28th of January, Lynn Reynolds, 65th birthday party. Really? You're 65? At the Windmill venue. Everyone's invited. Saturday 65. is Saturday. Get it in the diary. So January is Lynn Reynolds month. So you can hear, you or can't Whiteland. see, but you can hear. Uh, play Natty's new Christmas song, Joe. Uh, Who's Natty? Natty Dread, someone Robbie loves. Um, 
uh, without having it uh, lined up and st- it's not that straightforward. Uh, anyway, um, we've had ten acts this evening. Fabulous. We're actually, and, and you know, I haven't been shown any profile pictures tonight, but I am going to show the profile, Mr. Jim McLean. Oh. Our headline act this evening. He is, of course, the man who um, who wrote and performed Hampton Green, the folk o'clock song. The show tune. Fantastic. Uh, I think this is a wonderful picture, Jim. Why is it a wonderful picture, Lynn? Because you took it, Joe. I took it, it myself. <laughs> I took it myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great picture. I think Jim's a great guy. We all know he's a great guy. Uh, he's got great presents, which is useful at Christmas. Yeah. Um, and uh, a very supportive guy of all the local performers as well. Big hearted. Brilliant guy. Um, and oh, she's laughing. Sorry. Yeah, I'm being sincere and genuine. Sorry, She's laughing. No, sorry. It's going to put me off. I'm actually going to turn some microphones on as well so you can hear Jim just twiddling those strings on the guitar. Uh, we're going to have a couple of songs from Jim McLean. I'm absolutely delighted that you came back, Jim. Um, uh, it, it's an honour. It is an honour for it's you It's a too. privilege and a pleasure, yeah, Joe, no, to be here. It's, it's great to see you. We don't see each other often enough. I'm not offended. Um, but we are going to hear from Jim McLean. Do a couple of songs live, in the, live, live, in the studio... So let's have some love and likes for <coughs> Mr. Jim McLean. Good evening, everyone. It's brilliant to be able to play in the studio, and uh, I've had a very fun and entertaining evening so far. So uh, this song is a Christmas carol uh, called uh, The Little Drummer Boy, and I like it because, uh, like a lot of those carols that were just written for ordinary people, um, there's an awful lot of deep and profound truth in what is seemingly uh, a very simple, almost a children's story. So I love this one, and it's called The Little Drummer Boy.
One more? Yeah. All right. Uh, I was going to sing, actually, uh, what's coming through? Oh, lovely. I was going to sing as a second song, uh, The Wife of Usher's Well, <laughs> but Wendy beat me to it. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a song, it's a Bob Dylan song called The Chimes of Freedom Flashing. And I think it's a great song for this time of year. Um, it's a great song for this year. I think it was written in 1963 or something. Uh, but its relevance is still so good for today and it's a song of hope uh, despite everything. Far between sundown's finish and midnight's broken toll We ducked inside the doorway Thunder crashing As majestic bells of bolts Struck shadows in the sound Seeming to be the chimes of freedom flashing Flashing for the warriors whose strength is not to fight Flashing for the refugees on their unarmed road of flight And for each and every underdog soldier in the night And we gazed upon the chimes of freedom flashing Cloud's white curtain in a far off corner flash, and the hypnotic splattered mist was slowly lifting. Electric light still struck like arrows fired, but for the ones condemned to drift or else be kept from drifting. For the speechless ones who speechless seek their trail Or the lonesome hearted lover with a truth too tired to tell And for each unharmful gentle soul misguided in a jail We gazed upon the chimes of freedom flashing Eyed and laughing as I recall when we were caught, trapped by no track of ours, for we hung suspended. As we listened one last time and watched with one last look, spellbound and swallowed till the tolling ended. For the aching ones Whose wounds cannot be nursed For the countless confused Accused, misused Strung out ones at worst And for every hung up person In the whole wide universe We gazed upon the chimes Of freedom flashing Yes, we gazed upon the chimes of freedom flashing. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Mr. <coughs> Jim McLean. How good did that sound out there? Let me turn this off. Let me do this. Jim, you're a star. Thank you very much. Have another mince My pie. Pleasure. Oh, well. You can have a mince pie now. 
How good was that? Fantastic. Brilliant. And, the, 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 and I, I, I talked about this earlier. The guitar playing, there's a bit of a ring thing going on there yeah. with the guitar. It's like there's several people playing that guitar because the bass line seems to be completely different to the... That may, am I making sense? No, no. It's like there's two... No. There's, no, but, you know... I know what you mean. Yeah, it's good. It's good, Jim. Two great songs. A, a fantastic finish to the show. Really, really chuffed. Um, lots of... Lots of... A heart from Jill. Oh, oh you're still up. Hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on, hold on. Bless hold on. Her. Let me let's say let's say let's say, go, go on, on, Jill. Jill. Say hello. You're still up, darling. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. What a well, what a great yeah. Uh, Pip Vincent Cook. Fantastic show. Thank you, Pip. Merry Christmas to everybody. Great songs, Jim. Uh, that's from Jean up in Liverpool. Helen, uh, Alison Humphreys. Great show. I thought you were yawning then. No, um, I was not. Uh, we've had a great show. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. Appreciate everybody joining us. Yes. Um, I hope everybody stays well over the Christmas period. Uh, we should say some thank yous. We've got John on screen as well. Can we hear you, John? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. And you're John. unmuted as well. Perfect. Thank you, John. Great. <laughs> um, yeah, John, I think we've had a great show. We've had a great year. Um, we've changed a couple of things, not an awful lot, but uh, we seem to have yep. got our act together and it seems to work well. Gets yeah, better all the time, Joe. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. You're a super host too. Well done. Well, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. But super host. I, t I tend to talk, to, Lynn says I talk too much, but, you know, maybe that's just nerves. I don't Mind know. Mind you, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah, exactly. Really? Well, I was going to say, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I didn't want to say. I'd say it for you. Thank you, Lynn. Um, but seriously, thank you, uh, everybody. Let's just have a quick rundown of tonight's performance because I think it's been brilliant. Uh, Gary and Cheryl Payne kicked us off. Uh, then we heard from uh, Felix and Kathy Kelly, Kelly's Eye, Hector Gilchrist, Beers Law, Jan and Phil, uh, Lynn Reynolds, thank you, Lynn, mm -hmm. uh, with the lovely dog and the cat and me, uh, Sue Graves over at Ready Folk, thank you, Sue, the Moonlight Foxes recorded at Ive Tech Media, uh, the Dalton Gang, Doing us a uh, keep hauling sea shanty. Wendy Grossman. Good. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, Rye Wolf over at Ready Folk. Uh, and of course, that great big hunk of Scottish so sexiness, <laughs> Mr. Jim McLean. <laughs> and, I, I, you know, for anybody who isn't aware, and I'm sure you all are, but the, the, the Hampton Green song at the beginning and the end of the Folk O'Clock Show is Jim's own song. It's a really good one. Uh, let me just also, a quick reminder. The album. It's going to be trendy. It's going to be worth a fortune in years to come. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn, Under the Covers, for all you men out there. Um, Undercover, it's called. Uh, it's really good. I've got my own copy. I'm going to be listening to it while I'm busy working over the Christmas period. Not that I'll be working over the Christmas period. Um, yeah, so thank you to all of our performers. Thank you to the Folk O'Clock team. Sam White, I don't know where you are, but I'm sure you're having a great time. So thank you, Lynn. Pleasure. R raffle mistress for helping us with the raffle. And just being a good guest. Oh, yes. Being fun. You're a lovely fun. lady and you're good fun. Oh, yes. Stop touching me leg. OK. Um, <laughs> I'll uh, touch Jim instead. Sorry. And of course, of course, of course, of course, um, uh, John Ive. I couldn't do it without John, uh, my co-host yes. over at Ive Tech Media. Uh, I think we should have a Yay, little bit of a Come on, John. John Ive. Woo. Yeah, exactly. I'm hoping he's had a haircut. Is it, is it just a hat hiding it? He's definitely looking he's a bit tired. He's had a haircut. He's, oh, my goodness me. It's Look in a bun. That. It's in a bloody bun. He's got more hair than <laughs> I've got. John, you might have to start something with Sam on your own. Flipping heck. Right. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, John, it's always a pleasure. It's always challenging. We, we've always faced different things to do, but it's always good fun. Um, I hope... Uh, what am I saying? The music quiz winner. Uh, we had a quiz winner, Sally Brook from California. Sally, big hug. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Uh, and my mum wa won the raffle. Well done, mum. I shall bring a bottle of fizz up with me to Liverpool. Um, thank you all for being a fabulous audience. I hope you've had a drink because <coughs> the drinks are free all night. Um, I hope you've done a bit of dirty snacking and I hope you've enjoyed the music. Uh, we shall see you in January. Please take care and have a wonderful... Holiday season. Is that politically correct? Is that yes. what I'm supposed to say? Well, he's this wonderful job. I don't know what you can Happy say. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. However you celebrate, have a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, and uh, I, I, I did say that the drinks are free. But before you leave, please don't forget your empty glasses.
Don't forget your empty glasses. Take your glasses to the bar. Don't forget your empty glasses. Take your glasses to the bar. Take your glasses, take your glasses, take your glasses to the bar. sun is blazing, colors fill the sky. What a day for lazing, to watch the world go by. Blackbirds singing sweetly in the trees, squirrels leave their cover. Children's laughter floating in the breeze As they chase one another Such a very pretty place to be Down on Hampton Green Down to Hampton Green we'll go Down to Hampton Green such a very pretty place to be Down on Hampton Green The Church of Old St. Theodore Welcomes everyone Father leads the singing for old and young Lunchtime finds him at the railway bell With his beer and plowmans Different songs and different tales to tell From all the folks around him Such a very friendly place to be down on Hampton Green Down to Hampton Green we'll go Down to Hampton Green Such a very friendly place to be Down on Hampton Green
Father Thames flows softly at the dimming of the day. He bears all our burdens, carries them away. The night is still, the air is smelling sweet from all the trees and flowers. I hear is my heart beat from nature's own sweet bower. Such a very peaceful place to be down on Hampton Green. Down to Hampton Green we'll go. Down to Hampton Green. Such a very peaceful place to be